So I found some um, interesting little components on this old network switch. It's a 100 megabit network switch from a long time ago, 1996 date codes on this. Um, so I've got these boards and I've got one which I did earlier. There it is. A um, couple of interesting parts on there. They are dual inline relays and they are like that. You take them off. Um, the maker's name there is Aramat. I think they were bought up by Panasonic. Uh, they're 5 volt, a double pull, double throw, um, 10 pin dill packages. Um, can I get them off the board easily? Well, turns out I can. I've got this tip on the Metcal soldering iron, which is, I think it's intended for a surface mount part of some sort, but you can see it's got two, um, it's kind of U-shaped, it's got two uh, heating, um, two, two sides to it. Uh, so I can put that in between the two rows of pins, which are actually dill spacing pins, and it heats both of them. It heats both sides at once. I'm a little bit of messing about with this. It should be possible to get all ten pins of the relay to undo at once. And then there it is, desoldered. I think quite straightforwardly. Now I'm holding that in a little tiny... It looks huge in the shot there, but it's actually quite a tiny little mole grip. Uh, or a, um, a self-locking pliers, I should say. And not made by mole, they're made by... Rolson, and they are much smaller than the traditional, uh, made in Birmingham, I think they were, mole grips. Um, but they're quite handy for this kind of thing, just to be able to get the thing hot and not burn my fingers, and then pull the device out of the board in one smooth movement. Come on, there it goes. Oh, no it hasn't. Ah, my pliers have let go. Let's go back into that again. Part way there. The pliers back on. And heat. And you can feel it let go. Oh, I say that. It hasn't quite let go. And it's quite hot now. Oh, ah, yeah, that is quite hot now. Gah. There we go. That's off. So I think that's quite a a neat way to desolder things using a um, a tip that isn't really designed, I don't think, for dill use. You can get dill ones. The ones I've got, I think, are surface mount. Um, let's say it's quite a looking thing. Looks looks filthy, but of course it doesn't matter. Really, as long as it's got a clean edge to it. Um, so there we go, a bit of desoldering on a Saturday night.